So we've been looking at progress bars in our shell scripts, and I'm going to go over uh, the final example today, which is using Zenity to get you a GUI interface. But I quickly want to review our last progress bar, which used dialog in the shell, because Zenity basically works the same way, except for when I was just testing it out, it actually works more efficient. You would think the, the dialog box in the shell would be, work better, uh, more efficiently than a GUI interface, but it turns out Zenity, I guess, with the uh, shell interface, it's got to rewrite all the characters to the screen over and over again, where the GUI, it just updates the current GUI. Uh, would be an assumption on why it's uh, more efficient. Uh, but let's look at an example. So last time I used for, but let, let's just use sequence. We're going to just sequence out number 1 to 100. Boom. Only takes a fraction of a second. Let's do that same thing, but we're going to pass it to dialogue. So we're just counting from 1 to 100, but we're saying dialogue, display a title, display a gauge, and go ahead and so you can see between this which takes a tenth of a second to this which takes about two seconds that's a big difference now we can do the same thing uh, with Zenity so actually let me uh, just say here Zenity and I'm going to say sequence 1 to 100 boom it's done already it actually it calculated all out and went to it but let's slow that down a little bit let's put that back into a for loop so here we're going to loop from zero I, instead of using sequence i'm just using brace expansions but we're counting from one to 100 and again if i was to just do this even with the loop into zenity it just it just happens instantly but if i was to come in here and add in a sleep command till it after each number sleep for a tenth of a second, we can see we have a nice looking progress bar. So that's the basic concept of creating a dialog with, uh, or a progress bar with Zenity. When it's done, we can click OK. But I've made a more elaborate script uh, just to show you, because people might see that and go, OK, so that's counting from 1 to 100, but how do I actually do something and calculate out the process? Well, again, uh, if you go to my GitLab page, gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000 and search for my project Bash Shell Progress Bars, you'll get this script and the other ones from the previous video. Um, but this is the example I have. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set a directory. Uh, here I'm just going to say my root directory. So what we're going to do is, uh, last time we were just looking at my temp directory, we're going to log all files from my entire computer. It's going to take a little bit longer because there's a lot more files. But then we also need, this is going to work just like our last example with dialog. We need to get a count. What count are we currently at? But then we also, to get a percentage, we need to know what, what the total is. So here we're going to say, okay, we're going to run the, the find command on whatever our directory is here. It's our root directory. Dump any errors to dev null because I may not have permission to look at certain files and folders. But then we're using WCL to count how many files there are. So we're going to get a total number of files. Then we're going to echo out the total number of files just so the user has some information. Why would I even do that? Because we're working with a GUI interface, but whatever. Um, and then here, I'm going to then again, do the same thing again. Again, having a progress bar where you're calculating out a percentage slows down your process a little bit because you need to calculate out your total to begin with. Depending on your circumstance, it may be a few seconds, but it could also be longer depending on what you're calculating out. But here we're gonna loop through each file. For each time we, count a, we find a file, we're going to add one to the count, so we're gonna go zero. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to take that file name and dump it into our log file, okay? So that's what we're doing, we're just logging it. But you could be moving files uh, or some other process, uh, but we're, we, we're doing whatever. This is where we're doing whatever here. And then Zenity, again, the only output from this loop can be a number for our percentage, okay? So here we're saying, Take the current count, so if we're on the third file, take, th take that number and multiply it by 100 and then divide it out by our total. That's just how you find the percentage of something in math. That's not a computer thing, that's just how math works. Um, and so we're echoing that out to our Zenity. And Zenity, I'm just saying progress bar. Now, uh, our example on the shell just said Zenity progress. I've added some things to here. Here we're adding a title. So our, our dialog box has a title. It says scanning files. And then the text over the progress bar says logging files. And then we have percentage here. You can leave that blank. It automatically starts at zero. But uh, you can have it start at 
or 10%, depending on, maybe you calculated out part or something before, then you closed dialog, did something else, then you're coming back and you're getting a total percentage, whatever, we're gonna start at zero. You don't need that there. If I deleted that out, that would, the script would still run the same. But I put it in there in case for some reason you wanna start at a different number. But again, if I now run our Zenity example, scanning files, again, this part takes a little bit. I got a total number of files, and now, again, it's looping through. Every time it finds a new file, it adds one to the count, it logs that file to a log, and then it does some math. It takes what current number we're on, multiplies it by 100, divides that by our total, which is, uh, let's see, uh, 1,162,590 files. That's files on my machine, files and directories on my machine that my current user is allowed to view and it's going through and you see it's taking a little while because that's a lot of files. Now, if I was, again, as I mentioned in previous videos, was to just dump all those files, it would, all those files to the log file, it would go much quicker, but because we're looping through stuff and calculating out stuff for the progress bar, it's slowing things down. But with your script, you may be doing more than just logging stuff to a file. And so this example is just, again, basically if you're pro uh, processing something out, you would do it right where this line is, you'd add all your, your stuff there, just make sure that it's not piping anything out. Because if I was to, let's see what happens if I go echo, I'm not even sure what's gonna happen now. So I'm gonna echo out the file name. So it's gonna give echo out the file name and then give the count. And I don't know if that's just gonna crash Zenity, if we're gonna get uh, errors, or if it's Zenity's just gonna ignore the other ones. Let's see, let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, it actually is still, it must be ignoring the ones that are just line uh, that aren't numbers. So that's good to know. Um, I don't think dialogue does that. Uh, so actually let's do this. Let's let's go up to dialogue here, but I want it in the for loop. There we go. Uh, let me let me see what happens here if I after each number echo out test. Oh, I thought that that would mess things up. It must be ignoring all information other than um, other than the numbers that it's looking for. Although I, I would assume if I'm echoing out a number, that might mess something up. So let's let's run that again, and let me just say here fifty. Yeah. So that fifty is making it do 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 do, do that. So uh, that's good to know. Uh, I'm learning things as you're learning things. Let's do the same thing with our Zenity command. Let's go for loop Zenity. What happens if I say echo 50? Yeah, it's doing the same thing where it's counting up stuff, but then it keeps on flipping back to 50. So that's that's good to know that it will ignore any um, string text, uh, but numbers will uh, affect the progress bar. So that's good if, if your script is outputting information, it's not messing up our dialog boxes. I just learned something new along with you. See, we learn together. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com and I hope that you have a great day.